Soul Child. What's up, Soul Tribe? Welcome to Joy Says Healing 22. This is going to be a general collective message. Um, Thank you for visiting my channel. If you're watching me from TikTok, if the video go past 10 minutes, please proceed over to YouTube. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're interested in any type of personal messages, my info will be below. Or you can email me or... Uh, email me and put it in a subject line what kind of reading or questions that you are interested in all that information should be in the description box and let's go Holy Spirit asks us the spirit of the living God what are the messages for the collective today we got envy wow I am the same as everybody but with a different challenges all right, so you might be dealing with some people that might envy you. Somebody is unhappy. I'm aware that things are being... Honest, I am aware of being happy means that I am on the right path. So if you're not happy about something or someone or a situation, maybe you are not uh, on the right path. That could have been in the recent past. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than love. So something may be in the reverse. Well, it's a, damn, it's a lot of reverse cards. I do not like this already, but I got to deal with it. I know that I can, cannot change the past. So someone is having, um, someone's feeling a lack of success. You got some people out here, either you or someone envies you. I'm feeling someone is unhappy in a relationship. There is no greater goal than love. Okay. We got loneliness at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what this is all about. Why is happiness? I turn it in the upright, but why was happiness in the reverse? Thoughts. Despair. Toil, labor. In lovers. This has something to do with a, a love situation. Someone is thinking about you, probably while they at work or doing work or thinking about how hard you work. Someone's in despair over a choice in lovers. Somebody is, with this happiness falling out in reverse, I'm, I'm originally falling out in reverse. I believe that someone is um, unhappy with the decisions that they have made. Uh, maybe unhappy with the work that they're doing or something that's not panning out the way they plan to, uh, for it to be. Why is envy here? Yeah, you have some people in your community that envies you, unfortunately. Why is envy here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this could be some people that you work with on the job. Um... There's somebody, it, it could be some people that envy the work that you do. That is so sad. I mean, I understand a little jealousy, like a mm, little smudge, but envy, envy is usually is somebody who's close to you, friends or close friends or family, people that you talk with or dealt with or gave to every day. Haters gonna hate. It's always gonna be hate, but when you're dealing with envy, that's someone that you loved and that you invested in. It's like they envy what you have and what you have to spare or not, you would give to them. So how the hell are you going to envy something on someone that, that helps and support you? Yeah, this is some people that you had a contract with. This is someone that's married. Oh, wow. 
This is someone that you were married to or in a relationship with. Yeah, you're dealing with an immature woman. Now, I with the marriage card, I'm seeing like either it's by contract and somebody you have a relationship with or someone by blood, by family. Wow. Why was success here in the reverse? I turned it into upright. I know that there is no other greater gold in love. Why was why was success here in reverse, Holy Spirit? Yeah, so your ancestors want you to know you are the privileged lady. Oh, a spirit just told me as long as your intentions is good and you're operating out of love, because success can have something to do with money and or business or, you know, your passion or goals in life. I know that there is no greater goal than love. So long as are you... Your heart is in the right place and you are passionate. And you know you are operating out of love. The divine, the God, the universe will always provide and make sure that you are successful in getting through whatever it is that you are been getting through. Yeah, you are. I hear that you are. Uh, you provide a service. Your attention is good. You, you, you operate out of love, not greed. This could be some type of... Uh, it could be regarding a family or family business. That you feel that was unsuccessful. Or you're having some doubts about. Can I get more on this? Journey, false person. There's someone that uh, could be a feminine energy. That's making you feel as if, uh, or telling people that you're unsuccessful, or maybe you need to consider some type of change. Message of concern. It's, it's affecting your stability. You're expecting something to come in, but it's not. Maybe this false person or uh, individual that's a part of this community is telling people that you're not successful, or you won't be successful, or you feel like, you will be fake if you continue to go on this ish on this journey with this issue. That you will be lying to yourself. If you're doing something, make sure you're doing it because you love it. If you're not doing it because you love it and you're not doing it because and you're not happy doing it. I mean, we are gonna have some good days. You're gonna have some times where you wanna give up, but that's when you need to pray and ask God to help you get through it and to deal with it. Okay. So I'm going to put these back the way they was. The success was in reverse. Yeah, you got a fake person that's saying that you're not successful or you won't be successful, that you're... A, doing something for the wrong reasons. Um, someone in your family is very fake. This could be somebody at a distance from you, somebody that traveled to you or visit you or live far away because they have, have a train and plane, a trains here. Yeah, it's a family member that's fake that don't love you and, and don't want you to be successful. Whether that's in money or love. They're going out their way. Wow, that's fucked up. That's real fucked up. All right, we're going to clarify these with... Um, these cards here. I forgot the name of these cards. 
All right, so go to the middle, to the left, to the right. All right, so the ancestors want you to know you got some envy in the communities. Probably somebody you have work with, somebody you probably have a contract with, someone that's married. It's a woman that it's a married woman that's immature that envies you. Or if you're not married, if if you're not married to this woman or this woman's not married, you're in some type of contract, could be a family member. Why is, why is, why is this here, Holy Spirit? Knight of Wands. Yeah, this... Mm -mm -mm. It, there's a masculine fire sign that's married to this woman. Five of Wands. Yes, this is somebody that's in competition with you. You're I know you so try. I know better than that. We ain't, we ain't in competition with nobody. Everybody has their own divine gifts, purpose, or whatever. Yeah, it, I think it's somebody you was working with. A woman that's very immature. Nine of Swords. You're not worried about this shit or this individual. Flat out. What about this? Put one on this mature woman. Yeah, this woman is <laughs> immature woman. A mature woman in reverse. And we got princess of wands in reverse. This could be a fireside lady or woman. That's very immature. They more worried about you than they, they need to be focusing on themselves. They too busy trying to compete with you. This person could work in the same industry as you occupation this person try to be aware that this person try to come in make some type of offer as if they want to work with you or do some business with you and this person really envies you they probably just coming around to steal your ideas well but can't nobody steal nothing from you so try what god has for you is for you okay unhappy dude what is about to, what's going on with this unhappy man that's thinking about you, that's heavy in the thoughts. You live rent-free in this person's brain. What's going on with this individual? Why are they unhappy? Queen of Wands. They are happy because they're dealing with a hoe. Or they chose a hoe or a lover. Yeah. This person's in the karmic cycle. They, this person could be a, a, a woman or a feminine, a person that they work with. This masculine energy is in despair. Why is despair here, Holy Spirit? Eight of Swords, because they're trapped up in their head, nine of wands, and they um very defensive. They're defensive about something. No, they worry about it if you want to let your guards down. Can I get one on these lovers? Ace of Wine. Yeah. You probably won't let you do. There's no. You won't. Uh, there's no new beginning. With the Ace of Wands in reverse to me. That's a man with an STD. Or someone who got betrayed. It's probably this masculine. That it, you're, they're thinking about you. Or they're thinking about this Queen of Wands in reverse. That they're unhappy with. Someone had a choice in lovers. So evidently this person picked this person over you. Ace of Wands in reverse. There, some type of new beginning didn't happen for this individual. This person is trapped up in their head in despair. Um, they they don't know if you still defensive or if you let your defenses down or if they can have some type of new beginning with you. Let's go with the success privileged lady and reversing this false person. Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you let some type of, you're a loving person, giving person. Um, Because you let down some type of boundary or you fail to set some type of boundary, you these fake people or this fake family member try to over, basically they Judas you. They, they betrayed you, try to took advantage of you. You, you're full of love. Your your attention is good. Six of Swords. 
Yeah, you're moving away from this family or family group. Yeah, or you're juggling going back and forth on going on a new journey. Letting something go. Princess of Sword. Yeah, you have somebody that's spying and watching you. Someone that's pretending to be your friend. But really is spying and watching you. Trying to figure out what the fuck you're doing. And how you're doing it. This is crazy. Let's sum this all up. So you got a masculine or somebody, Playa High Goals, chose another lover over you. This lover ended up betraying them. They're thinking about their choices and what they did. This person most likely gave them an STD or they found out that they were sleeping with somebody else. Now they're in despair because they don't know if you're still defensive or not or want to be with them. Ancestors want you to know that you got a lot of envy around you. Um... Um, in, part in particular, there's an immature woman that's in competition with you. They work with you or work in the same industry as you. Um, you're not thinking about this person, but this person is thinking about you. This person could be married to your ex or was married to the, or or is an ex of your current lover. This person, uh, you're not, you're not, you're unbothered. This person is very immature. They're lying. They like to go off at their mouth, talk about shit that they don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. They just be doing shit. They just, just so fucking extra. I, I mean, I don't get bitches like this. You know, get, get you some business. Find your passion. You know, we can be doing the same shit. Do it a different way. Never be envy. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this is someone close to you. This is someone that you work with, somebody that you undone business with, or you went to school with. This is somebody that you know. Over here, this success, you probably feeling unsuccessful right now because you you I, you your intentions was pretty good. You know, things might have been slowing up. You are full of love. You probably failed to set some type of boundaries, but you're moving forward. You go on back and forth on whether or not um, you should continue this journey. Spirit is telling you to follow your heart. If you love what you're doing and you're doing what you love, God will take care of the rest. This fake person that's spying on you, probably sending juju, um, evil eye, whatever, is trying to, was trying to, um, is watching you or whatnot. This person been lying on you or whatnot. Somebody's going to be in regret or someone is in regret about the past, but change, but a change is going to come. Knight of Wands. Yeah, some information that you want to come in real fast. Can I get some advice on, on this Holy Spirit, on this message? Your ancestors said, keep your moves to yourself. Keep your ideas to yourself. Keep your plans to yourself. Trust your intuition. You could be dealing with another high priestess. Trust your intuition. Yeah, somebody is unhappy in a relationship. You could be dealing with a Leo. Ace of Cups. Ah! You may be, although you was feeling sad, unsuccessful because you got some fake people that's spying on you, that's been going, spreading rumors online, trying to get you fired or um, give you, um, like, don't give you any hope about your business or whatever. God is about to send you a new opportunity. Okay? Whatever you was unhappy about in the past, you kept it to yourself. You are all known that the guys is with you and guiding you to get through to this. You're going to get some type of new opportunity. More on this sun energy, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person was a liar. Someone lied to you. Somebody lied about a relationship or someone was trying to put you in a it was a yeah, this person, this individual, this, they're thinking about the lies and how they hurt and betrayed you. They're they're not happy with their decisions. Yeah, keep your these keep your opportunities, your ideas with the seven of cups in reverse with the high priest. The ancestors telling you to keep your shit to yourself and just do it. You got a very immature woman. 
What about this Ace of Cups? Yes. I just heard, seek and you shall find. Clean house, sweep, 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 sweep. I don't know what scripture that was. Do some research. You need to study. Some you need to study for. Some you need to get prepared for. Some you need to do more research on for. The more research you buy, then you're going to figure out this opportunity is going to come. Let's close this out. Let's clarify the seven of cups. Keeping things to yourself. Your opportunity. Yes. Three of cups fell out sideways. Yes. I know you want to spread the good news. I know you want to have... Uh, you know, who don't want it when they um, have some type of success or whatever, want to, you know, share that information with their family. But just know that you need to just keep things to yourself and just do it. I just heard, sit back and let allow them, allow them to watch the show. Keep your ideas and your concepts to yourself. More on this Ace of Swords. I believe this is the love situation. It's the sun in reverse, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this man or this person is, is very burdened. They're not happy with their behavior and the lies from the past. Hermit card, Ace of Cups. This is the four wise. Let's try to uh, figure out. Mm -hmm. We have the Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Empress. If you're, wherever you've been working on and it's, it's been key working against you, I just heard, leave it alone for right now. You need to focus on something else, something bigger. You need to, I'm just, I just heard, that's too small for you. That's petty. That's a distraction. We need to focus on the bigger picture. Whatever you been, whatever you, it was sent to you. This false person, these people in this situation, it was sent to you to distract you. Spirit wants you to uh, get back focused and study on a bigger picture. You guys, there's, I just heard there's so much more worth fighting for. This little issue. Or whatever been going on, it's a non-factor. Keep your head to the sky. You are the empress. Empress rules. Empress make um, heavy decisions. You want to put this little petty shit to the side and focus on what you need to focus on. Focus on the big cup. Operate in love. Keep following your heart and passion. Do not allow these, these false people or this fake motherfuckers that's spying on you and got you wondering if you're even in the right line of business or if you're even really doing the right thing. No, you are. You are good. You are good. Yeah, uh, four, uh, three of cups to four of cups. Yes, don't be stubborn. Don't miss your blessing because you still focus on what happened on the past. Yeah, somebody been given to somebody else. They was breadcrumbing you. This was not an equal give and take. Um, yeah, someone's going to come rushing in. When you meditate on a situation and look at the overall thing, you're going to get somebody's going to come in and help. Help is on the way, I just heard. Be aware that if this regarding some type of money situation, make sure you do your research. Or this could be an idea coming in so fast just when you're giving up. Or some information that you research and that you find out is going to help you resolve this issue. Yeah, you're guarded against people in situations. You're, you're healing from this situa love situation. Don't overthink this shit. It's stressing you out with this money situation. You guard it from your past.
if you're asking a question about a situation, something has not end, something has not transformed. Look, King of Pentacles. I don't know. You're 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 stressing out. You got the Empress and the King of Pentacles, or this could be a King of Pentacles that's coming that's going to come in and help you resolve this reverse uh, money or business issue, or on a job issue. Somebody's going to take up for you. Yeah, you're a King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this you did. Someone from your past is a complete narcissist. They don't care. They don't have no... They know they owe you an apology from being the king of cups in reverse from the past. Unemotional, no, not empathetic, inconsiderate of your feelings and how this may affect you. Yeah, something's going to... Something something has not changed yet, but slowly something is coming in. Probably a new offer in love. From an earth sign. Someone, a false person, this once you become this king of pentacles or get your money or whatever, be aware that fake offers or page offers, you deserve more. You deserve bigger. Yes, and keep moving forward in common waters. All right, y'all. Sorry, my energy might be a little low, but that's your messages for the day. And God bless. I may write a summary. I don't know. I like writing more. Um, again, if you're interested in any type of per personal messages, please check the uh, information in the description box below or on YouTube. Um, I think TikTok got a link to my SD shop where you can pay for your readings. I... It's fully um, confidential. I write it down. I write it. Make sure you put your name and birthday. Put your name in the subject line. My email is Kalila, K-H-A-L-I-L-A-H, Joy, J-O-I, says, S-A-Y-S, 22 at gmail.com. Make sure you put it in the subject line. If you rather, if you want a three question love reading or a full reading with a message from your ancestors, a message about love and about money. God bless. You have a wonderful day. Bye bye.